Refresh rate and frames per second are two different things. That is absolutely correct. But when we're now talking about VRR, verbal refresh rate, then there's not really a difference anymore between FPS, frames per seconds, and refresh rate, hertz. Okay, let me just very quickly explain what is VRR doing on supported screen like the LG ZX. You can see here the VRR information, by the way, you can access this menu when you smash the green button on your remote control. You can see you have here now uh, a number 70, 70 hertz, okay? That's the refresh rate of the screen right now, okay? So this is our live information, what you can see here at the moment. G-Sync means we are in the G-Sync compatibility mode because I'm using an NVIDIA graphic card. On the left top corner, you can see the actual frame rate from my source, in my case, the PC at the moment, 70 frames per second, and you can here also see 70 Hertz. And because we are using VRR at the moment, and we are in the VRR range, Hertz and frames per seconds are equal because all what the screen is doing right now is synchronizing the refresh rate from the screen with the frames per seconds from the source. Okay, so one more time, as long we are in the VRR range from the source and the screen, and in my case, that's right now 44 frames per seconds or 44 Hertz up to 120 Hertz or 120 frames per seconds. As long we are in this range, this information here is exactly the same as frames per seconds, or let's say like this, the refresh rate of the screen is exactly as the frames per seconds. And of course, it's easily to um, demonstrate. Actually, we have now 84 frames and you can see here 83, 84, something like that. When I'm looking up in the sky, we have suddenly 106 frames per seconds and we have now 106 hertz. So again, in VRR, in the VRR range, frames per seconds and refresh rate, there is no difference. It is getting a little bit more complicated when we're now talking about LFC, low frame rate compensation. And we need to talk about the VRR range again. And in this case, on the PlayStation 5, it is 48 Hertz to 120 Hertz or 48 frames per second to 120 frames per second. LFC is now responsible to kick in below this range, below 48 frames per second or 48 hertz. And I have already shown how LFC is exactly working in another video in a different one, so make sure to check this out because to show this again how it is exactly working would just take too much time. But um, just very briefly explained, as soon we're falling out of the VRR range and in the case of the PlayStation 5 it is 48 to 120, LFC will kick in and depending on the frame rate, what we have, we're talking about frame doubling or frame tripling. And this is all what LFC is doing. And this is coming from the source. The, the screen actually has to do nothing, okay? The screen knows the VRR range is 48 to 120. As soon it is below this range, the screen will not is not be able anymore to sync the refresh rate to the frames per seconds, okay? So now the source will double the frames or triple the frames. And no, you're not getting double or three times more frames per second. It is a little bit more complicated, okay? But the only thing what is happening is the screen get fooled and he sinks. He is in the VRR range and you will have no screen tearing and no stuttering. So very easy and very quickly explained how LFC is working. Okay, but now let's focus on this screen here, on this information here again, and you can see 118 point something hertz. And we learned before that this value here is exactly the same as the frames per seconds if or as long we are in the VRR range. But I can assure you, we are not in the VRR range from the PlayStation 5 anymore. And why? So first of all, this is the fidelity mode from Ratchet and Clank. And as we know, the fidelity mode from Ratchet and Clank runs in stable 40 FPS in the fixed 120 Hertz mode, okay? So right now we're using the VRR mode in 120 Hertz and we don't have suddenly 120 frames per second. This is not possible, okay? So we're still having a range around 40, maybe sometimes 50 frames per second in the VRR mode, okay? So that's why at this very moment, this is not correct because we are not 
in the VRR range anymore from the PlayStation 5. And it is actually very easy to prove that this number at the moment is not correct because as soon I will change the yeah, graphic mode into the performance RT or performance mode and we know that those two modes is actually running already with 60 fps fixed 60 fps in the yeah, 60 hertz fixed mode that means we're getting now when we confirming this a much higher frame rate thanks to vrr and this at the moment what you can see here 80 80 hertz is exactly 80 frames per second okay and we can actually get up to 100 fps when we're just looking into nowhere where no gpu demand is of course and i can assure you this is really 100 fps at the moment because it looks so great on the yeah oled screen here what i have the lg cx 65 inch and yeah in the normal gameplay we have uh between 60 to 80 to 90 frames per seconds all the time in both performance modes okay so this number at the moment is absolutely correct and this is what some people don't believe and if you still don't believe me, then maybe you should check out Digital Foundry because they will tell you exactly the same, okay? But just with better wording and better English, okay? <laughs> I'm very sorry for that. But anyway, it is true, okay? It is very hard to believe for some, some people that the PlayStation 5 is actually capable of outputting 80 frames per second right now, or maybe 100 almost, 92, 95 frames per second right now in a visual quality like this it is possible and by the way the xbox series x can do exactly the same okay but right now we're talking about playstation 5 vrr and i love this option in this game and also in spider-man it is a complete game changer in my opinion and i just hope that we will see many more games with a vrr option actually and again i like to make this very very clear i like to have a vrr range from 60 fps upwards okay i'm not talking about 48 frames per second as in the fidelity mode here i like to have at least 60 fps up to 120 fps okay thank you very much for watching me i see you guys next time bye